What is happening guys? Cowboy here and welcome back to the walkthrough. So after leaving Harada Estate, you're going to head back to the outskirts wall gate path. From here, the first thing we're going to do is acquire some skills. So as I mentioned, mid-air deflection, a very nice skill. So we're going to go ahead and pick that up now. And then the next thing we're going to be working towards is getting a Shinobi's Karma body. Because as I mentioned, Breath of Life Light. Oh my god, it's so nice. Can't wait to get my hands on that. But anyway, jump on up. Take this path. Very similar to how we uh, came back over here before. Just to visit the merchant quickly, we're going to be taking that same route again. So you don't got to worry about the enemies here. You're not doing anything to them, they won't do anything to you. I'm going to grab that sugar. Uh, now that we have all four sugars, just to show the other two, as I mentioned, the Goken sugar, this one will reduce posture damage taken, and then Gotchen sugar, this makes you harder to detect. So in a sense, uh, things that you typically might not be able to do with just regular stealth, with Gotchen sugar, you can usually pull it off. Uh, if you didn't buy the fireworks yet, by the way, definitely make sure to get them. Once again, you want those fireworks. Go this way. Go. Oh. This guy can be really annoying, as you can imagine, with that big-ass cannon. So take him out right now. Black gunpowder. Right, upgrade map. Um, let's see. We got three other guys here that we're going to take out. We got two right there and then this one. Waiting for a second. Actually, this is kind of a decent opportunity to show you the, the firecracker in action. So let's go on and pull that out. And we will... Oh. No death blow. That's okay. Surprise! Ruin slash you! Oh my god, this is getting sloppy. You can see you really gotta be like on top of these dudes to really see the uh, the effectiveness of the firecracker. bags. That's okay, though. Even though we just used up our stuff, uh, we're about to hit another point anyway, so you don't gotta worry about it. So, from here, drop on in. Grab that. Um, kill... Oh, yeah. Actually, you know what? Well, let's, uh... Hit the bell. We're gonna go talk to old lady, just to be like, yeah, I rang your Buddha bell. Make her happy. Dialogue's exhausted. And on dead, bro. Not really saying much else. Uh, but anyway, now we're gonna head out. Let's see. Two balloons around here that I need to grab. So backtrack slightly for upgrade mat. Kill the other three. Talk to old lady. Purple cost to the tree. Ah, this tree. Uh, one thing that's worth noting, when you're on trees like this, you can't actually fall off. But if you sprint, you can. So, just be aware of that. Grab the balloons. What is that? Look at that. It's like a... Like a rug. Something. Grab the scrap iron, though. Up, um, just checking my notes. Let's see. Hey, mats. Yeah. There go. If you somehow miss the jump, you can grab this ledge. Hug the wall and walk on over. Do, do, do. I need to run and jump to, to make that jump up to here. 
jump. Oh. Bah. Wow. Okay. Third time's a charm. Let's get over to here. Jump. Jump. Grab. Up. And now we have another idol. So go ahead and rest. Get our stuff back. Almost at a skill point. So close. Give me XP, chicken. Kill him, drop on down, and you may remember this guy from the memory. Anyway, that's the guy that was a looter back in the memory. But so run through his dialogue. He needs some startup money, so give him 50 cents. He needs some more startup money. So through his dialogue again. Give him 100 cents. Talks about the stuff we already got. Uh, because we already have the flame barrel, I'm going to give us some oil for free. We'll say that you know he's going to get some goods. So go ahead and just head on back. You could alternatively just jump back over. But the idea here is that we just want to reset the zone real quick. Uh, anytime you're trying to advance dialogue or something's not happening, you can do the same thing. Go on over, and you'll notice now he has a bunch of goodies for us. So, the most expensive thing here, the Phantom Kunai, is for an upgrade later for the Shuriken. Uh, if you want to get the final Shuriken upgrade, you'll have to get this along the way. I wouldn't worry about it for now. Um, it's a decent upgrade all in all, but I wouldn't say it's like a necessary upgrade for the Shuriken. But given how much gold we have, five light coin purses is quite attractive. Go ahead and pick up some pellets as well, because you can never have too many pellets. Uh, you can also upgrade this merchant twice. Uh, later on, he's going to ask for... Uh, see right here, he's going to ask, find, find me out what samurais want right now. You're a shinobi, you got a good ear, you can find out. Uh, there's a salt tip that we're going to eavesdrop for. After that, he gains Goken sugars, uh, Yashikiru sugars, heavy purses, and he also will sell infinite scrap iron and infinite gunpowder, which are your two basic upgrade materials. And then there's a third upgrade we can get him by sending him a big guy, and he'll sell infinite Akko sugars, bulging purses, four magnetite, three yellow gunpowders, and three lumps of fat wax, which are all very, very good things to get. So anyway, touch this remnant here. Uh, the remnants you'll find around the game, the main gist of them is they just tell stories. You don't really have to get them, you don't get an achievement for getting them or anything. Uh, but they're, you know, they're worth mentioning, I think. Oh. Air death blow. Didn't see nothing. So anyway, uh, we're going to head on over to that shiny first. Snag that up. Alright, then after... I'm just checking my notes here. Do, do, do. Drop down, get pellet. Alright, now we're going to do a little bit of eavesdropping. Interesting tip we'll get here. Choice is to use fire. Red eyes fear fire, that's what the Lord's Proclamation says. Proclamations, what a joke. Anyway, drop on down. This is how we thank him for that good information they gave us. Suck up their gold. Now, this guy will break away from his chains if you stand by him for too long, or once you hit him. Instead, um, you know, once he, basically once he aggros, he's going to start breaking. So run it past him for now. We want to take out this spear guy, even though he keeps trying to thrust us. It doesn't matter. Just kill him. Pick up that Mibu Balloon of Wealth. And we're going to go and... Uh, basically, we're just going to gonna, gonna uh, de-aggro this guy. Very similar to the uh, when we fought the, uh, the Shinobi Hunter. No, we just want this guy to be... Uh, de so that we can go up and get our attack on him, and we now have that. Now, next part is important. Put on your flame vent, grab your oil, and we are about to make very, very short work of this boss. 
We're going to be doing a stealth opening, and then we're going to oil him, flame vent him, hit him a few times. Rinse and repeat. This boss should drop with almost no problem at all. Just keeping an eye on him. We want to wait till he turns his back, because we want to make sure to get our stealth hit on him. Looking for us. He's like, I know there's a shinobi out there, but maybe he just doesn't want to come out for today. If he doesn't want to turn his back, alternatively, I'm sneaky beaky here. Grab attacks cannot be deflected. You have to dodge them or just walk away. And now, boom! Why is on fire? Whack him. Back up a little bit. Fire will go out. And then we're going to hit him with more oil. See, the problem there is I got, uh, if you hit him when he's not in an animation at all, he'll do this thing where he's just like, oh, I'm on fire, I'm on fire, I'm on fire, I'm on fire. But it's better to, to wait until he is animationless, basically, you know, when he's just standing around like he is now. Because it will interrupt his grabs if you do it early enough. There you go. Chained Ogre is down. The prayer bead for that. And Shinobi Medicine. Increase the healing effect of recovery items. So we get more bang for our buck when we heal. So anyway, now that he's gone, that fog will disappear. Hop on up. And we get a uh, Shinobi uh, Monocular, a Gourd Seed, and a Shard. That basically serves as a... Uh, sorry. I'm having the wrong thing. Uh, there's the monocular. Board C we want. And there's the shard. So, for this next area, we're actually going to sprint past all this shit real fast. There's an idol behind them, and we want that idol first. Go ahead, just haul ass. Anybody that's slow like this, feel free to kill them. I mean, free XP, right? Right here. Rope. Oh. And jump, and we got an item. So, go ahead and travel back to the Dilapidated Temple. We're going to go ahead and use that Gourd Seed, because why the hell not? Saw Lord Kuro Vision. Died and he reached out. I was talking about resurrection. So far, Dragoron hasn't happened, so we're still kind of limited on the dialogue. There we go. Another gourd use. Sure, I'm not missing anybody. Picked up other gourds? No, I have not. Okay. Uh, anyway, so rest here, and then we're going to travel back to the Underbridge Valley. Alright, so we're going to jump up here. Uh, there is a lizard hanging out. Hit him with a shuriken to take him out. This thing spit poison. Grab the pellet. Rope on up. Go ahead and kill this guy first. Around. Um, that one you could, but we'll get him in a second. Instead, we're going to work our way around this way. Um, just to check my notes here. Actually, let's down a little bit. Uh, yes, alright, so we're going to go up, and we're going to kill Alert Guy first. Alert Guy is right over there. The reason this guy is so annoying is he has pots and pans, and he basically bangs them to let everybody know you're here. Go ahead, dispatch his ass. Now, dispatch this guy. Now this guy. Now this guy. 
Guess where we're going next. Oh my god, would you then attack? God damn. And I deflect everything. Jesus Christ. Alright, so now we have another mini boss. He also has a little guy with him. However, we are a lot more interested in getting a free hit on that mini boss. So, here's what we're going to do. To come up here. Boss. Get him. Take this guy out quick. Now for General Tenzin. Pop that pellet. Uh, you can go ahead if you want to use the same thing with the oil. But it'll be a little bit harder to find a big opening on a guy like this. But just like before, oil plus fire is incredibly effective. Jump off the head. One thing you'll notice that I'm doing here is anytime he tries to do a perilous sweep, uh, just to better showcase it here, jump and then jump again as you're coming down. And what you basically do, it's a little bit hard to, to time. You have to do practice it a little bit. But you jump as you're coming down and you'll basically bounce off of his head, causing poise damage. And then on top of that, when you're coming down from that, you can do a quick double swing. So it's just really nice and effective to build up even more poise on your target to get a quick death blow. So after that, uh, go ahead and pick up the scrap iron. Um, let's see. Yep, that's it. Uh, he might try and do his buff thing too, where he goes, hoo, hoo. Um, It sounds just like that, I promise. Uh, he'll kind of be sitting there and it looks to you know, basically pull pull his uh, sword in towards his chest. That will reduce his poise. Don't let him pull that shit off. Uh, but anyway, we're going to go out this way to the right. Grab the Divine Confetti. See a little note here. Turn back if you value your life. You can't behead the Headless. Our swords and pikes did nothing. Boss that's coming up. That. Jump. And grab. Climb up. On and grab the Gotchen Sugar. Go down. Just to kind of show you what's down here. So, down there is a boss, known as a Headless. There are a couple of these in the game, five of them, in fact. And each of them gives a reusable version of your sugar. So this one in particular gives a reusable Akko sugar. When I say reusable, I mean you can just use it on command, and it'll cost you spirit emblems as opposed to it being a consumable. However, they are super irritating to fight for twofold. One, they have something called terror on all their attacks, and as terror builds up, uh, it's similar to petrification. Uh, basically, when your terror meter hits full, you just instantly die. On top of that, they can hit pretty hard. And last but certainly not least, uh, the only way to really do damage against them is with Divine Confetti. So trying to fight this guy right now, it's just not worth it, man. You got one confetti, you don't even have anything to get rid of terror yet. Um, so once you have more confetti and you have the ability to remove terror, it's a lot smoother. Uh, furthermore, if you have the lilac upgrade to the uh, the loaded umbrella, that will shut down apparition damage, so that helps out a lot. Um, probably too late, but there's also an upgrade to the finger whistle style shinobi tool, which will outright stun them, allowing you to kill them. But the general gist is, it's just not worth fighting these guys right now, so don't worry about them. Instead, head this way. Take this rope path up. Down. 
I think this is right. Hang on. Continue around, take the rook path, sugar, antidote, and divine grass. Oh, hang on. That's the path I came from. Hang on. I missed some loot. There's some loot here that I, uh... That I looked. Was it down in the pit with him? No. Grab the confetti, jump, grab the sugar, continue around. Don't fight headless now. Continue around and take the rope. Ah, this rope path. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Feels when you don't even know your own notes. Uh, make sure to have on your, your loaded axe here. Go up, up, right off. Go, oh, gotcha, and sugar. There was a helmet head up here. Anyway. Get the Divine Grass, that's a full heal. Antidote Powder, pretty obviously gets rid of poison. Go ahead and open this on up. You may recognize this is right where we just were. So, you got that path open. Uh, go ahead and use your idol and go back to the last commune. So, now have enough prayer beats. So go ahead and consume your four prayer beats. This is going to increase your health in addition to your posture. Uh, before we go into this next area, if you're right where I'm at, you'll notice I'm almost to a level. And this next area, death is um, quite possible. We're going to be going uh, through kind of like a scripted type event type thing. So uh, if you're almost at a skill point, I would highly suggest doing a little bit of farming here, which is exactly what we're going to do right now. There we go. Like I said, so now that we've hit three... Um, you know, even if I die, I'll only go down to seven on my total skill points. Those three hard points that I acquired, those cannot be lost. So, anytime you're about to go into an area that involves a boss, it's almost always worth farming a little bit just to hit those thresholds. But anyway, let's acquire some skills, and we're picking up Shinobi Karma Body. Now, as I mentioned, the next thing I'm going to be getting from here is Breath of Life Light. It's a very, very nice skill, and it helps a ton with progression. Uh, basically, any time you death blow an enemy, you're going to gain back health. And needless to say, you can imagine how this is useful, you know, as we're going around. Uh, think about Harada Estates, for example. You know, we kill a couple of enemies, we keep our health topped off, and then by the time we reach the Shinobi Hunter, you're still at full health. Um, I know we're past that already, but it's, you know, you get the gist. Uh, but anyway, looking at next. Uh, yeah, we can do this real fast. This part's, this part's fine, and then we'll save Castle Gate Fortress for the next episode. Rumbling happening. Wonder what's making all that rumbling. I don't see nothing. This just must be a little earthquake. Oh lordy, look at that. It's a big old snake. So, jump on down, hide. Do not let the snake see you. Do not hit the snake. The snake will kill you. You do not have a lot of health, and he is much bigger than you. You are a Kit Kat. He is a hungry big man. Jump across while the snake's not looking. And run! I'm gonna go fast for a second here. And jump! And crouch! Wait for Noodle Boy to pass. I mentioned, do not hit the snake. Oh, you're probably like, I want to hit it. Do not hit the snake.
very big danger noodle, and I would not suggest messing with him. Alright, now, when he turns his head, I'm going to run for that nice little hut right there. Get inside. There's no way Snake will find us here. Until he does. And you stab the danger noodle! Die! All right, now you really pissed it off. So we gotta go fast, run on over here, quick, grab the snap seed. Those are useful for later. And then you gotta haul ass. You gotta run right now. You just stabbed a giant snake in the eye. It's pissed off. It's time to go. And then run, 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 run. And now turn and wait. Oh my God, look at him. Oh, he's close, but he can't quite get us. Angry boy. To be fair, I fucked with the snake way more than I should have. Alright. So do, 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 do. I kill the dude. Oh yeah, that's right. We're gonna run over here first. Sugar. You can't execute people from ledges. I guess he just wasn't close enough. Anyway, jump up there. Up here. Now this is a shield head. Or actually, no. This might not be a shield head. That might just be a regular old gremlin. Uh, but anyway, he'll drop a herb catalog. It doesn't really do anything, but you know, basically just tells you what we just picked up. Uh, the snap seed naturally grows in ravines and deep valleys, according to denizens of the Sunken Valley. Such places are appropriate for offering oneself in marriage to the Great Serpent. If you wish to become a bride, you just gotta enter the belly. So anyway, with that guy dead, go ahead, pick up the other sugar, and rest at the idol. And this one is going to wrap up here. So, for the next episode, we are going to be tackling uh, both the Castle Gate Fortress area and taking on Gyobu the Demon. So, make sure to stay tuned, and we'll catch you guys soon enough with our first major boss.